this, then you cannot possibly claim to have the original. And you don't have the original. No Christian scholar, I challenge him. And watch him ignore my question again. All these scholars, Trinitarian scholars, he keeps mentioning, he keeps beating the drums. Okay, ask him now to show me one of them who ever claimed that we have the original teachings of Jesus Christ or the original Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. If he can show me one of them who said that we have the original Gospel of John, the original Gospel of Jesus, uh, sorry, Mark, Matthew and Luke. Okay, now, corruption, coming to the issue of corruption. He says the Quran says the books of the Jews and the Christians are corrupted and then he's contradicted himself. He's not listening to me. I never said the Gospel of Thomas is the Injil the Quran is referring to. He asked me a question. He asked me a question. Show me a Gospel where the Trinity is denied and I showed him the Gospel of Thomas. That's all I was saying. The Quran doesn't mention any Gospel by name. The Quran doesn't even acknowledge their authenticity. The Quran states that whatever they possess, there are remnants of the teachings of Moses and Jesus there. Even though they are corrupted, the Quran makes a very categorical claim in chapter 2, verse 79, that the books the Jews have written with their own hands, and then they claim these books are from God, are actually not from God. Actually, they are not from God. So what books? The scripture of the Jewish people, right? So the Quran, what is the Quran saying? What is the Quran saying then? Where is the contradiction? There's no contradiction. Okay, time is up. Okay, answer, so my, question. few answer my questions. First of all, he said, probability Start is not evidence. I love that. That's a great soundbite. Yes. If it's more probable than not that something is true, is that evidence you should believe it? It is. No. It's not. If it's more probable than not that something is true, that's not evidence you should believe it. No. That's no. amazing. He believes, Evid he believes in things that are not probable. You don't, you anyway. never, you okay. never have probabilities when there's evidence. It is, my time. Please my time. It, no, is it probable that time. you're a human being? Reset my time. Is it, a, is it probable no, that you're a human no. being? Reset my is it probable? No, is saying, it probable that you're a human being? He said, he said, he said if I interrupted him, we would start it. Yeah, start again. No, no problem. Started, don't no problem. Me. Fair enough. Don't Fair enough. Run. Fair so, enough. So don't play these games. Don't right. Run. So there you are then. So, don't play these first games. First of all, he's wrong there. The evidence I gave is strong evidence that yes, he probably did. The area was Greek, it was heavily Hellenized, and he spoke to Pontius Pilate, who would have likely only known Greek or Latin. There you are. Second point, he was like, watch them avoid this question. Show me one scholar that says that we still have the original manuscripts, which I'm guessing is what you're I didn't say that. I didn't original, ask that. No, you said the original, original Gospel of John. Yes. Again, we start it. You interrupted again. Yeah, no problem. Start again. Yes, no problem. Start, start again. Here we go. But don't lie on me. Did, did don't I, deliberately did, do this. Did? Don't lie deliberately. Don't miss it. Are you still speaking over me? I said Gospels. Are you, okay. Original Gospels. <laughs> right. The original Gospels. Yes. Did I ever say that I have made a case here for the original Gospels preserved as manuscripts. No. 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 Not me. Why? Because the Gospels preserved as manuscripts are written on palimpsest. No, sorry, not palimpsest. Papyrus. Papyrus. Pap Papyrus is dried leaves. Yes. Papyrus degrades, degrades over about 10, 20, 30 years. Right. We were no academic scholar, but Herman, N.T. Wright, Daniel Wallace, Richard Carrier, right. would ever oh. expect to have the originals. Likewise, we don't have the originals of the Quranic manuscripts, Wolfman's. even though they were written on vellum, yes. which is a form of parchment. That's right. So, refuted there. I did answer your question on that. No, you did not. No, 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 let me get back to this. You diverted. So, now he keeps trying to say, oh, the Quran makes it very clear. In chapter 2, was it 78, 79? I believe it was, well, was it 78 or 79 and that? You can tell no, me that. chapter 5. No, no, we quoted something. 279. I think it was 279. Let me read it out. So woe to those who distort the scripture with their own hands. Then say, this is from Allah, seeking a fleeting gain. So woe to them for what their hands have written, and woe to them for what they have earned. Did that verse say either the Torah or the Injil have been corrupted by the Jews or the Christians? No! That's no! Yes, That's the All it says yeah. is that a group of them yeah. wrote something and claimed it was the Torah or the Injil. Right. That's a massive difference. He's being deceptive. He's yeah. ran out of arguments. Yeah. He now has to take things out of context. I challenge you to show me a clearer verse. After all, does the Quran not say it is a clear book? If it is, he can show me a verse where it says that the Injil and the Torah have been corrupted. Show me that, or is it just bitter in your religion? Give me right. time. Yeah. Okay, I'll start yeah. with the last point first. He said, 
He said, the Quran says, a group of them corrupted the books. Show me where the Quran says that. Show me. Show me. Wait. You see, these people, when they say something, never take it for granted. Always question. Always break down their claims. So woe to those. Those. Who? Those it who? Say all. Okay, read, read. Does it say all? You said group. A group is a small it's called a group. Wait, 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 wait. Don't lie in front uh, in, to my face about it's our scripture. Don't lie. Don't lie. It's not going to help you. I'm going to I'm going to take you on every single word you mention by the way. Be careful. Now, ladies and gentlemen, my time. Okay, start uh, my time. Okay. So, I, I just caught a lie. Okay. These people when they read our scripture, they spin it. Every time they read it, they want to see what they want to see. And there's a reason for that, because they want to misguide their people. They don't want to show them that their scriptures are corrupted. Am I saying this? Am I saying that the Gospels have been corrupted? Their own scholars, their own scholars nodding. He's nodding, he's agreeing. One of the scholars, a believing Christian, a Trinitarian, his name is Bruce Metzger, the very teacher of Bart Ehrman. Bart Ehrman apostatized from Christianity when he saw all these problems. He left Christianity. Okay, Bruce Metzger was a believing Christian and he, tied, he wrote a book. He authored a book titled The Text of the New Testament. It's reception, corruption and restoration. Reception corruption and restoration the title of the book is telling you the new testament was corrupted the muslims don't have to say this don't come to the quran and try to use the quran to support your corrupted scriptures the quran will never support that the quran mentions the injil and the torah and its traces its traces wherever they can be found the traces of the torah and the traces of the injil can be found not only in the four gospels but beyond the four gospels as we clearly discussed the infancy gospel of james for example it confirms the quran we accept that's true we you are blinded your church your catholic pagan church chose these four documents for you as the gospels and rejected the others and not only that you disbelieve the church you are now for some reason taking all their conclusions and accepting them even though you don't follow the catholic church it was the it was it was it was the catholic church that built you know this is there is a reason for this there's a reason for this this noise there's a reason watch when he speaks he's gonna stop just watch watch i want you to everyone so ladies and gentlemen time up time up watch all right so first of all let me make it clear what he was trying to conflate is the term corruption meaning a change of text with corruption, meaning a change of meaning. He wants to conflate those. So when uh, Bruce Metzger writes about corruption, he's referring to the text. When he mentions in the Quran that the Injil is corrupted, he's trying to add to the Quran, saying the Injil in meaning was corrupted. Because his own Quran in Surah 4, Ayat 17, uh, 171, I think, no, 157, sorry, says that Jesus was never crucified. That's a change in meaning. So the word corruption to him has to be corrupted meaning. Brutmeska Bar Ehrman use a, uh, use a scholarly term, corruption, to mean a text has changed. But you don't mean that. He means the meaning has changed. But his Quran never says that. Again, show me a verse where it says, the Torah and the Injil, the meaning is corrupted. Show me it anywhere. You can't. Show me. Show me. My, my time. No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. So in his time, he will show me that. Notice he hasn't answered my question, but I've answered all of his. He's conflating scholarship to confuse you. The point of the matter is simple. The Baina Yidehi in the Quran, Surah 5, Ayah 48, confirms what was between the hands of the Jews and the Christians. And that is affirmed in Islamic scholarship, it's affirmed in secular scholarship. That means that when Muslims say the scripture before, or they say the original, or they add words like corrupted, they're committing bidder. They're innovating in their religion because their religion never says that. If you want proof of this, look at the earliest tafsir. Look at things like Atabri. Look at those who mention this and they make it clear that yes, this is affirming the injil that was with the Christians. Yes, he does. That is your time. Yes, he does. That, that. And even if that's the case, start my time. Even if that's the case, ladies and gentlemen, if 
that's the case. He's claiming the Injil that is with the Christians. Which Injil? Because Christians were not homogeneous. They were not following one Injil. To this day, the Christians are not unanimous on scripture. The Ethiopian Orthodox Church has 83 books. The Catholic, the Catholic Bible has 73 books. The Protestant Bible has 66 books. So what scripture? Which Injil? So when you say the Quran affirms the scriptures in the hands of the Christians, you are not united yourselves. How can the Quran affirm something you yourselves are not united upon? So what kind of stupid claim is this? Okay. Clearly, they are desperate. They want to use the Quran to reach out to the Muslims. Look, your book confirms our scripture. It is not corrupted, but their own scholars are saying it's corrupted. So the way he spun the whole topic, he said, that's a scholarly work which talks about corruption. Okay, but the Quran is not talking about the corruption. The Quran, where does the Quran actually explain which cor corruption is the Quran talking about? The Quran is not talking about the meaning. The Quran is actually talking about textual corruption, the corruption of the words. Why? Because the Quran in chapter 2, verse 79, clearly states those who write books with their own hands and then they say these books are from God. Woe be on to what they write. Woe be on to what they earn. What is the Quran talking about? The Quran is talking about actual writings. What they are writing. Because the word yaktubuna. Yaktubuna in the Arabic language means to write. Physically write. And the, what, what are they corrupting? Kitab. Kitab is scripture. Because these people are called Ahlul Kitab. The people of the scripture. People of the book. Which book? The Torah and the Injil. So the Quran makes it very clear their books are corrupted. But then the Quran says there is still element. There are elements of truth. There are elements of truth in there and we accept them. We accept them. So we are not a bunch of extremists. Okay, so he tried to say, it's a bit hilarious. He said, look, they don't even agree on how many books are in their scripture. Notice he's conflating the Injil with the Bible again. My previous uh, debate opponent made the same mistake. He's still doing it. Name me a church that believes in any other than Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John as the Injil as the gospel. Name me any. I will. Go on. The Protestants. No, 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 no. Can I? No. Let me. Let me give it time. The Protestants. What do they say the gospel is? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The Catholics. What do they say the gospel is? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The Orthodox. What do they say the gospel is? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The Oriental Church. What do they say it is? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They are because the Syrian church, every church that ever been agrees on this. He has to go outside the gospel to make his point. You've been found out, you've been called out. Then he goes, oh, how, it's, it's so different. How can the Quran of, say that something has been corrupted when they themselves don't even know how many books it is? That's amazing. Ubay Ibn Kabul, 116 surahs of his Quran, until Ibn Musud had 111 surahs of his Quran. How can the Quran affirm something that you don't even know what it is? Oh, oh, that's embarrassing. That's he knows. He knows. You've just buried yourself again because the Quran went through changes. The Quran has been changed because different master reciters of the Quran, Ubay Ibn Kab and Abdullah Ibn Musud, had different surahs in the Quran. And Uthman standardized it and burned the rest, according to his tradition. So his own arguments have failed him. He says Surah 2, Ayah 79. It says they corrupted it. No, it doesn't. It says, it says that some, it, or many, it doesn't say all, they wrote a book. Can, you, can, can I request, we move the cameras on this side. This, this guy has been sent by someone. Yeah, sorry guys, keep, keep coming forward. Coming forward. I want to walk away from the noise. I want to walk away from the noise because I want this to be a very fruitful discussion. Come, 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 come. Sorry, guys. Sorry. You can move this as well. Okay. Can we move there? Yeah. Okay. Continue. So his time is up. Four seconds. Four seconds. Okay. In four seconds. The very criteria that Anna referenced. So no no, it's a, so we were stepped on a branch. Oh, okay. mm. The very criteria Adam referenced destroys his Quran if he takes it in the same way for the Bible. Okay, great.
So the point, well, I forgot the point you raised in this, uh, this uh, because okay, so, so <coughs> just repeat point the point. Yeah. Is that you reaffirmed Surah 279 mm -hmm. as corrupting the text? Yes. I said there's no support in that verse that says they have corrupted it. Okay. Right. Only that. Some, okay. Many of them. Okay. First of all, <coughs> he talked about the Quran and its alleged corruption, and I talked about the Bible and its corruption. It's not alleged. In the case of the Bible, it's unanimous. The Jews and the Christians, they are unanimous, their scholarship, that the Bible is a corrupt text. It is an altered text. We do not have the original writings of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, let alone Jesus Christ and Moses. Okay, we don't have that. This is a unanimous opinion among scholars. I will now challenge him to make it easy for us, instead of me going around the world, trying to prove to him and to you that the Quran is not corrupt. There is no comparison between the Bible and the Quran. There is no, you know why they drag the Quran into the discussion? They are trying to make the Bible look less corrupt. That's the idea. The idea, the strategy is that once we attack the Quran, the Bible will start to look a bit more stable. Okay, but that doesn't work because there's no comparison. Now, I will ask him to bring out one serious scholar, an academic who has published with Western universities, okay, a reputable scholar whom the world takes seriously. Okay, Quran scholars, one of them who said the Quran is corrupt. It is not what Muhammad actually delivered to his companions. One of them. Okay, I'm not talking about Muslim scholars. Okay, I am talking about Christian, atheist, or non-Muslim scholars in general. Okay, one. Ask him to put the same question to me. Do scholars say that the Bible is corrupt? I will give you the names. And the names will not stop. Okay, so where is the comparison? What games are you playing? Why would you play these games? Why would you even go there when you know there is no comparison? So I'm going to ignore that. Okay. Or unless he can bring a scholar with a name and his credentials. And then because Bruce Metzger has published with Cambridge University. The one I mentioned, he published his book by or through the Cambridge University. This book, the text of the New Testament, Reception, Corruption and Restoration was published by the Cambridge University. Now. Yeah, all good. Oh, right. yeah. So he has made a challenge to me. He has said, can you quote any actual Western scholars who believe the Quran has Reputable, changed? reputable. Here we go. Patricia Crone, Michael Cook, Fred Donner, uh, Nicholas Sinai. I have named four. Nicholas Sinai studies at Oxford University. Well, I'm, I'm listening. I'm very, I'm very interested. And he has pointed out quite clearly that there is at least 10 accepted Qur'ats according to the narration, uh, traditions in Islam. Did, the Qur'ats... Wait, 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 wait. Did you understand my question? You said Stop changes. the time. Stop it. What does no, no. The word corruption right. used by any reputable scholar... Wait, wait, wait. wait. Um, you, we can start your time again. No problem. Understand my question so that you can handle it. Show me any reputable scholar who used the word corruption for the Quran in their academic writings, like the Christians did, did for their own scripture. Over to you. No, no, any, any. I already, okay. He wants a very specific criteria. That isn't gonna work well for him. The point is, is that what he understands to be corruption is textual variance. That's what he means by corruption. Mm. So they will use, they will, scholars don't tend to use that word. They tend to use the word textual variant. They have used it for the so Bible. Michael they have Cook, used it for the Bible. Patricia Cook, yeah, they use it for the Bible. Yeah. Why? Because it's also, you can, if you want to, yeah. say the text is so, corrupted. So why are, they, why are they so merciful in the Quran? Because they don't want to upset certain people. No, yes. no, no. What happened to Patricia Crowe no. when, when she started to highlight critical scholarship of the Quran? She got death threats. And how do we know this? Because she was public and she said, look, I had death threats made against me. <laughs> Michael Cook worked with her. Same. The point of this is this. Even despite that, they will say in nicer language, textual variants. I've given you four scholars. Fred Donner, Patricia Crowe, Michael Cook, Nicholas Sinai. One of those is, works at Oxford today, Nicholas Sinai. He's written a book called A Critical Study of Textual Variants. I believe it's called, I'm paraphrasing. You can read this book and he tells you quite clearly that there have been things that were once considered a part of the Quran that are no longer a part of the Quran. 
An example is Sora 33 IS 6, which according to some codexes, I believe Ibn Masud, Abdullah Ibn Masud, one of the greatest master reciters for the Quran according to Muhammad, who had memorized the Quran. Time is up. <coughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, he mentioned four scholars, Patricia Crone, Michael Cook, Fred Donner, and Nikolai Sinai. Three of them are not scholars of the Quran. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Patricia Crone is not a scholar of the Quran. She's a scholar of early Islam, okay? Michael Cook was also a scholar of early Islam and later on he moved into other fields. Fred Donner specifically is a scholar of early ex Islamic expansion. He's a historian. So try not to use names and think people don't know. This is my field. History is my field and I've studied these works, okay? So don't throw, throw names and thinking people are not gonna catch them. Only one person he mentioned, who is a scholar of the Quran, Nikolai Sinai from Oxford. And do you know what he said about the Quran's text? Do you know? Yeah, do you have have you read his artic two articles? I literally quoted the Wait, book. okay. You don't have you read? Have it? you read the book? Wait, yes. Have you read the book? What does he say? I'm asking. About I'm asking you. I'm asking. Wait, wait. I'm, I'm asking you something. Have you read his two articles on the canonization of the Quran? I believe so, yes. You have I'm read both articles. Fully. I'm aware of them. Yes. Are you, have have you read them? Have you read them? Not scholarly stuff. Why did you use the name? I have read the books. I, I, read his book. I have read the books I've, I've mentioned. All right. Uh, so first have you, of all, have you, me, wait, wait, okay, no, wait, I'm wait, that wait, wait, you, wait, you've made wait, wait, up here. Okay. Patricia Crowe uh, you can, you can is respond. considered to be an absolute legend in the field of Islamic studies. Why? Because she demonstrated that the early idea Islamic that studies. through trade you can validate the location of name, Mecca. name, Listen. Wait, name wait, two wait, books wait, of Patricia Crowe. Uh, yeah, no, no, wait. Okay. And, um, okay. Okay. Wait. 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 You you just said that. Who said that? You said that. Okay. Okay. Listen. Okay. Okay. Listen. Wait. Wait. Listen. I've, I'm, let's not now. It's okay. gonna. It's gonna. It's no, moving wait, into conversation no, no. now. Do your okay. do your do okay. your own scholars wait. say that the Quran wait. is wait. wait. Do your own scholars wait. according to wait. history say the Quran is very wait. Wait. Tell me. Wait. Our scholars. Have extensively okay. written in the Quran okay. in the second, third, and fourth century. Okay, we know exactly. You, you, you're not telling us anything new about what the Quran. About we have manuscripts. Story? Wait, we have manuscripts wait. from the time of the companions of Prophet Muhammad, carbon dated. D do carbon dated. Yes, yes we do. Apollo. You're blind. You're, you're blind. Trini Trinity makes you blind. You're, you're blind. Right Trinity makes Apollo. you blind. Wait, wait, wait. That's, that's wait, brother, brother. We are, are you listening? I am. You, I'm asking. We have carbon dated manuscripts going back to the time of. Birmingham parchment. Right, that dates actually potentially before Muhammad. Okay, that wait. could demonstrate that the Quran do, do, was no, before no, Muhammad. Wait, wait, wait. Do you know how carbon dating works? I'm, you're oh. not talking to ignorant people. Is very a is a very painful. I am not, scholar? but I read then scholars. I read scholars. I read scholars. I read scholars. Okay, wait. Do you know how carbon dating dating works? I the no, scholars. no, no, no. You just said, you said that scholars. parchment. Are you wait, the your scholar is J. Smith, right? Are you scholar? Your scholar is J. Smith. I mentioned J. Smith. Patricia Crow. If J. Smith your scholar. Free. Okay, wait. I can keep going. Wait. Wait. I, wait, wait. Dr. Yasser Kali talks about this. I could talk about this many wait, things. I could quote Muslims. I'm to asking tell you about your this. question. Right. You just claimed the Birmingham parchment yes. predates Muhammad. Wait. You just predates. No, 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 wait. Yes. Now you're saying potentially. You're adding potentially. I literally said potentially. Okay, wait. Wait. You know it predates okay. Uthman. Do you know you how know, carbon you know, dating Do you know? Do you know how carbon dating works? The Oxford study that they did on the carbon dating of the Birmingham portfolio. It's three sources, so 18, 19, and 20. They did this study and they found that the range given is about 568 to about 645. Ah, the problem with so he knows about it. I know, I just oh told my you. God. So, so he, he no, asked me earlier, please. he asked me earlier, Anand, which one? He asked me earlier, if you are all witnesses of this, yeah. he asked me which one? I, I and now he's giving me the dates. I don't so know what dates? Wait, know wait, 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 wait. So you know, you know about it. I didn't so know we have the Quran know. from the time, no, potentially. I'm going to use, I'm going to so use his language. Potentially, yes. we have the Quran from the time of Muhammad and his companions. Potentially, potentially we do, yes? Potentially, yes. If you listen, what you is saying? the latest date given to that particular part? 645. 645. When did Uthman standardize the Quran? Okay, good. When good. did Uthman standardize good. the Quran? Good, uh, uh, good question. Yep. 645 is the latest date. Yep. Yes. According to the officer. According. Yep. And do you know how many companions of Prophet Muhammad were alive at the time? Why is that relevant to what I just asked? Oh, wait, 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 wait. When did Prophet Muhammad die? No, when? Wait, wait. What? What date? Chris, are you saying 632? 632. When, when was Uthman? So this, when was Uthman? You this, tell me the date. Okay, the latest I don't date. Think you know. Chris. When was Uthman around? And why did he author the recension of the Quran? Wait. Tell me the date. Calm down. This is my field, tell so me the date. I'm going right, to. Yeah. Tell me the date. Okay. Which date? The date of which Uthman collected the Quranic manuscripts and he wrote his own copy in the Qureshi dialect and he sent it out to the major cities. Six, six fifty-six. Okay, six fifty-six. Now, now, now. Wait. Here, yeah, here. Yeah. Okay, no problem. 
now, no, now, no, now, no, no, wait, 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 wait. This date, 6.45, how many companions of Prophet Muhammad are alive? I don't know, you tell me. Thousands. Okay. Thousands. Yeah. Thousands. Yeah, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Thousands. That parchment, that parchment, mm -hmm. is there a word mm -hmm. or a verse mm -hmm. that is different to our modern copies of the Quran? Yes, according to your histories. So, for example. No, 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 no. That part. No, no. Don't, don't, try don't try to be clever. Don't try to be clever. Don't be clever don't about it. it. Stick to that parchment. Stick to that parchment. Which, that parchment, right. which is from the lives of the companions of Prophet Muhammad, whatever we possess in that, is there a word, a word, or a sentence different to the modern copies of the there Quran? There are variants in it compared to what we have today. Okay. Yes. Wait. wait. And of course, show me. Show me. Wait, show me. I'm waiting. No I'm sense. waiting. It I'm waiting. No I read. I read it on video. Go and watch you my video. It I put it up yeah. and I read word by word. Right. And I ma do, did did I, did wait, 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 wait. Try not to be clever about this, man. It's not going to help you. It's not. It's not. Good. It's not. Good. You know what Kirat is? No, Kirat is a style of reading. And it can. It can. It can you know. You know. You know. You know what a Kirat is? Oh, it's tomorrow, tomato. Yes. 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 He's right. Tomato and tomato. No, no. Let's read our fatty. Let's fact check you, yes. because I know for a fact, according to the British Foundation, yeah. you're totally wrong. No. They could have no. Look, what what claim British are you making? First, wait, wait, wait. Before you make a claim, before you claim, make claim, before you make let a claim. Let me make the claim. Yeah. claim. There's no point in claim. talking to me before claim. I claim. say it. What is your claim? The British Foundation of the Ten Karat of the Noble Quran, okay. according to the, the British Foundation. So I'm fact What is your claim before I'm you... Getting you're there. giving getting the there. evidence. You're oh. giving the evidence. Claim. Make the claim and then give the evidence. Karat has differences in meaning. That is my claim. Okay. So, so, so who's now, disputing that? Who's disputing that? You literally said <laughs> Who the disputed that? that? Wait, 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 wait. Who you disputed that? Said it. Where do the Quran? I said to you, wait, is it wait. tomorrow, tomato? Wait, wait. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're is lying. he wrong? Is he wrong? Is he in wrong about the Quran? Instances, okay. But in other in instances, some instances, in other instances, there's yeah. meanings in So try. In what, meaning. what? 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 I, do you have any brain cells? <laughs> do you? Do you? Do you even know where we're going with this conversation? Chris, Chris, you deny you can, this No, I'm not. De talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. No, no, first of all, no, no, he's first of all, no difference okay, in meaning. okay, you there's no difference okay, in meaning? okay. Go on. Let's go step by step. Address this man. Let's go step by step. Okay. That parchment, Birmingham parchment, yeah. that's from the Mingana collection in the University of Birmingham. Is it different in any word? Are you listening? Right, right, right. Word or a verse? from modern copies of the Quran in its sure. consonantal ductus, in its writing. Sure, sure, sure. Wait, wait, are you listening? I want to answer you. Uh, yeah, so, so that we can make it fruitful. Don't so, spin it, answer my question directly. Right. He said, is there any difference in the consonantal rising? That's, that's actually key. I didn't reason, say, okay, wait, are you, are you? You said yeah, that, you okay. said that. Now, the reason well, why you know I what consonantal key, ductus is? Let me answer yeah. you. Yeah, the reason that's important is because he knows as well as I know that the Arabic language at the time, in terms of a written text, had no diacritical marks. Yes. There were no dots or critical marks you could make to differentiate. So we're going to move step by step. I'm just giving yeah. context. Yeah. So there's no way you could differentiate that. You're no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. You're not answering my question. I You're not answering my question. Listen. My question okay. is what? My question is what? Is there any difference in word, word, and a sentence from that parchment? And our modern copies of the Quran. The modern copies of the Quran are not just the continental wait, rhythm, okay, are they? Wait, okay, okay, wait. Are you listening to my question? I just answered. Are you listening? Different. Why are you struggling to answer my question? Because you're a spin doctor. Is the Quran because you're a liar. Just a you're a liar. Rhythm. That's why. Is That's why. The Quran okay, you you are a Trinitarian spin doctor. Now okay. answer my question. Is there a difference in word and sentences when it comes to the content of the Birmingham parchment? And our modern copy. Birmingham yeah, parchment, right. wait. Birmingham parchment is from the time of the companions of Prophet Muhammad. He has agreed already. Before, potentially. Before. Potentially. Before Uthman, uh, uh, so uh, okay. Potentially. Potentially. Window. Okay. It cannot be earlier. So yeah, it has to be later. Uthman. Okay. Okay. Uthman. Okay. So only extremist Trinitarians like him That's and his what, teachers will claim something like Adam, earlier. Adam, earlier Adam, than Adam. Muhammad. Only a it's scholar. Okay. 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 Wait. Wait. This. This. What you said earlier. 
What you said earlier. Wait, 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 wait. Or the dates wait. before Uthman. Can you produce a, again, you know, you're wasting my my time and my brain cells for no reason. That's why, you, I, you know, why I don't like talking to, why don't why I don't like talking to ingenu uh, disingenuous people. And you know why I don't like talking to them? Because they deliberately spin I'm facts to make a point. Yeah, the Muslims are not yeah. extremists. Okay. I'm an extremist. That's my yeah. Yes, you, you are. My, you, 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 okay. Okay. You're an extremist, I'll tell you why. Because, because you, you, no, 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 absolutely. It's got nothing to do with the truth. The ah, truth. The truth. truth. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's. We will check it. Yeah, yeah. We'll check it right now. Right. We'll check see. Whether or not the dates are predated. Were, were, were the New Testament manuscripts corrupted? Oh, now it's going corrupted. To the Bible. Wait, wait. Now we'll see if you're an extremist it? or not. No, it's this the Bible. answer. Uh -oh. Oh. Quick, go to the Bible. We're, it's we're, the Muslim shuffle. Do okay. a little shuffle okay. because you cannot answer the fact. I, I will. Okay. I will. Predate Uthman. Chris. Chris. Am I going anywhere? Let me tell you. Let. What that means is that. The first standardized copies existed before Uthman made his recension. That means that your standard Islamic narrative is false, according to Oxford study. W which is and which is data. which is what Done. what what is uh, what what Refute is that. what? Okay, okay. So repeat that. Repeat that. The fact is, is that the dates given by the Oxford study, 568 to 645, predate. The Uthmanic recension. In other words, there are copies of the continental Razim that are in Surah 18, 19, and 20 that predate what Uthman did when he standardized okay. the material. Brilliant. That means that there are pre Uthmanic Qurans. Brilliant. That I am so impressed. Islamic I am narrative. so impressed. Your scholars and your historians and your. your they've all you finish your, you. finish your question. Now let me no, respond. Okay. I am so impressed by Chris's uh, intelligence that I really don't have words to answer his question. Uh, okay, not. you know, this is why, enough, this is why, this is why I believe he's, he's disingenuous. He's not sincere in this. He's not honest in this. Why am I not sincere? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Notice how you're do you know, me, do you know how carbon dating, dating works? Oh, jeez. I just quote scholars. Uh, okay, what are do the... You, are you an expert? Wait, wait, wait. Did you go to like the school of like radio carbon? Why do you have to, why do you have to jump? Why do you have to jump? Because wait, it's a let's make it a conversation. I'm not, I don't want to insult. I don't want to attack you. I okay, wait. Attack the argument. Wait. Okay. Question, Chris. Man, Chris. I've already answered it. What, what is, is the dating for? <sighs> the point is. Wait, 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 wait. Watch. Again, Everyone will. And you'll know you will see what I, I'm talking about. What is the dating for? Because he cannot what address is, my point. Wait, I will. The, what is the dating? Then do it then. What is the dating then for? Then answer what I've what said. What is the dating for? The dating is to give an approximation, a oh. range of when this particular, uh, the manuscript which it was written on, was likely came into being. That's what it's for. Uh, okay, okay. Not Re the repeat, ink, repeat, repeat that. The, not the, not ink, the, the ink, manuscripts. Not the ink. The manuscripts. Ah, okay. Now, we, you see, that's why I asked him, do you know how you carbon know, dating you? works? You didn't know that. Okay. I had to tell I, you. I, oh, you, you think I didn't know that? You didn't know anything. You think I didn't know you're that? You're waiting for me to I, tell I know, you. I know. I, I know wait, I don't know a lot of things, but this well, I knew. This I knew. Yeah, I don't know a lot of things. Of course, yeah, I'm, anyway. I'm a student. Okay. I don't know a lot of things. This I knew. This I knew. This I knew. Okay. Now, if... The carbon dating is for the animal that was killed, okay? How does that prove your point? Because we're not claiming that the writing is... That's not my point. Uh, okay. I just mentioned we're not that, claiming that right. the writing of that parchment yeah. represents that date. We are claiming, actually the scientists are claiming, that that animal where the parchment came from, where the vellum, the skin came from, was killed in between these two dates, 568, to 645. That's when the animal was killed. It is very likely the animal was killed earlier. They produced a parchment. The parchment was kept in a store somewhere for 10, 20, 30 years. And then later on, it was used. This is what the scholars and the scientists are saying. The writing can be later. The writing can be later. So there goes your point and your argument on his face. So let stop lying, now, me, stop playing I games. Lying. Okay, now challenge what I said. Now, here's what's interesting. Yeah. According to his perspective, in Saudi Arabia, producing a manuscript out of vellum, out of parchment, which is an incredibly expensive material, gets produced from a dead animal, and then it sits in a cupboard somewhere for decades, no one bothers to do anything with it, and then finally they write on it. Yeah. No, yeah. scholars un unanimously would reject that view because we know full scholars, well- Scholars, scholars, which one? Well, which ones? Nicholas Sinai, for example. Uh, okay, Re Chrome, for example. Produce it. Don't, said, don't. This, 
Why, Dave? Sinai, Wait, you Crone, you threw it out. Bonner. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm ask, ask me for the quote. Listen. Ask me the, listen, for the quote. Listen. I'm not going to use names without evidence. Listen. I did I did I listen, produce I'm anything? Going. Did I mention any scholar without evidence? Yeah. Without evidence? No. Without yeah. producing Wait, evidence? Listen. Yes. You have a national yeah. scholar. So so don't listen. throw scholars. Don't don't, don't, don't throw scholars. scholars. Oh, I'm gonna no. yes. Listen. So when you quote a scholar, tell me what he said. What what did he say? My point is What did he say? What did he say? No no. What did Nikolai Sinai say? Okay. I am saying. What did Nikolai Sinai listen, say listen, about this parchment? That the Birmingham portfolio is yes, dated between this range. Okay. According what did to the he Oxford say? Study. What did he say? He's quoting the Oxford study. Okay. Can you can you produce it? The Oxford study. Yeah. Okay. You can check it now. Okay. What, and, phone and what does it say? That the dates. What is it? Uh, six. Uh, who who uh, disputed? Five, uh, well, who disputed uh, that? You I'm did. agreeing with you. No, no, that the parchment, right. the dates are six for, right. for between 568 to 645. Right. I'm not disputing that. Right. So what games are you playing? My point is, yeah. is yeah. that it makes you need to give your evidence because the burden of proof is on you that they wouldn't have used that. I don't need to give material. any evidence. Ah, Western no, scholars are saying no on, on Okay. No wait. Evidence. I'm gonna I'm gonna give play. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait 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 wait. Give me give me any evidence. Okay. No, if he demands scholars for me, wait wait wait. He can just say wait, it wait, wait. out there. Okay, wait. I'm gonna play it right now. Play what? Wait, I don't wait. want a video. No. People, Should I start playing people videos? Want, people Should I start playing people want to. videos? Okay. People. The point is. Wait, 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 wait. Dating wait. predates Uthman. The no, Uthmanic no. recension in 652. That is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, tribes. here is that. a documentary produced by the BBC on this very the question. BBC. And then there are there are scholars from the University of Birmingham. And let's see what they have to say. I'm gonna repeat the words. I'm gonna repeat the words. I don't wanna watch videos. Wait. Why are you bringing videos? Why are you picking the BBC? Why are you crying? Oh, can you can you repeat the words? Mate, mate, can you, you repeat the words? No can you repeat I the words? Don't want to watch your video. Yeah, no, 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 don't watch you it. Don't know. Just, you it's, it's, only, it's only two minutes. No, you it's don't. only two minutes. We've been on minutes, we've so. been going on for one hour. So let's You've lost what you. what are they saying? The angel you Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna repeat the words. He has to get a video. Should we get a loudspeaker system? Well? BBC yeah. produced a documentary on this very parchment. On this very parchment, the, the, a copy of the Quran, a fragment of the Quran, we're discussing. So, you know, people tend to listen to white people because they, they come across more intelligent and more learned. So let's listen to white people, what they have to say. Okay. No, no, I don't have anything against white people. Did I say anything? I'm saying people tend to find find them more interesting. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not saying anything. So there is a there is a there is a white scholar to use to use to use the the mass the term for the masses. Okay. For the he's going to say something very interesting now. This guy, this guy. Okay, who is he? He is Professor David Thomas. Okay. Uh, Christianity and Islam professor, University of Birmingham. Right. What is he saying? Let's hear his words. Scholars here say that this discovery goes back to the earliest years of Islam. The person who actually wrote it may well have known the Prophet Muhammad. I'm not denying. Okay, okay, no, you're, you're not denying it. You're not denying it. Okay, 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 okay. okay. You're not denying it. Okay. Okay. So, so, so. Wait, 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 wait. You see, wait, wait. Address my point. Wait. No. Now. 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 Do not address anything. Okay, then I'll stop the quote and I won't yeah, play it. Don't I won't play someone so, that didn't address my point. Oh, good. Thank you. So for now that you accept time. on camera that you are willing to accept the possibility, the possibility that a companion. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't. I know it's painful. I know it's very painful. It can. You've talking to me for a Christian can be very painful. I know. I know. Okay, now that you have accepted the possibility of a companion of Prophet Muhammad writing that particular parchment found in Birmingham, that. that's why, hence my question, that copy, which may well have been written by a companion of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, peace be upon him, okay, peace be upon him, I asked him a very specific question about it. Is there a word or a sentence different in that copy 
to what we find in our copies today. Wait, the answer. Wait, 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 Simple? And you're a simpleton, yeah? I, let me rephrase my wow. question. The let me, let me, is okay, a okay, okay, okay. You are the words, the, the words as they are transcribed, wait. The words as they are transcribed, because I'm gonna, you're a simpleton, so I'm gonna make it simple now. More the words, the words, the words, the words, the way they are transcribed and in that copy, which may well have been written by a companion of Prophet Muhammad, according to a professor from the University of Birmingham and you now, okay? I know it's, it's painful. But you're not it's addressing painful. what I'm saying. It's very painful for Christians. You're not addressing I understand what I'm the pain. His point I understand is, the pain. Guys, okay. I understand the pain. No, no, wait, wait. I'm asking now. I'm asking now. I'm gonna. I'm not going to let this question go. I'm not going to let. It's painful. It's very painful. You've lost. Now, now what? Earliest copies of the Quran. Was it before found, Uthman? Found. Was it before Uthman? Found. Was it before Uthman? See, there is a reason why he's doing this. Uh, he lost. There's a reason why he's doing this. Okay, it's a very simple question. Very simple question. He cannot answer it. He will not answer it. You know why? Because he dies. Because you know what? We, I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because I'm going to ask the same question about about the text of the New Testament, and he doesn't want to go there. So wait. So that okay. So that they, 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 that Quran. That Quran, oh. that Quran we have in Birmingham, from the time of Prophet Muhammad's companions, possibly written by one of them, is there a word in that copy as it is transcribed? I'm now using very specific language because you're simple now, so I'm trying to simplify it. As it is transcribed on that parchment, is any word or sentence different to our modern copies as they have been transcribed? Okay, it's a very simple question. Do you all understand my question? Do you all understand my question? Okay. The copies of the Quran you have today come from the Quran of Hafs. We got it from Mr. Asim. He's not going to answer my question. I am. He's not answering my question. Because I am asking your question. Is that copy in Birmingham? Hafs. Okay, it's not Hafs. It doesn't say anything about Hafs. You said the Quran today. Hafs is not there. Hafs is not there. Hafs is not even born. Hafs is not even born. I know. Come on, Hafs is... You people are so ignorant. Okay, wait. So this is why... Hafs was at the time of Muhammad. Wait, wait. The Quran... The Quran... The Quran... Hafs wasn't even at the time of Muhammad. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, so you keep mentioning Hafs. Hafs has nothing to do with that parchment in Birmingham. Wait. Yeah, how is the most common Hafs? comment today? Wait, wait, wait. The most Chris, Chris, today? Chris. I don't. I'm not surprised, by the way. What is the most common? You, you are a Trinitarian, and I know Trinitarian. What is the most common Arabic Quran read today? Okay. I'm going to repeat my question. That Birmingham, Birmingham parchment. The Dawa shuffle. Is there? The dog. Is there? Do it. Is there a word? No. Is there a word? Listen, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to repeat my question because, because I'm going to expose you again. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Why am I going through marks. this painful exercise so that their they're game different. is exposed? Yes, wait, I know the game they play. They, oh, the, game, to, the game they play, they will never go to the text. They will always talk about the Quran. There's a reason. I'll tell you why. Me, they will never me, go to the text. Me, the text. The text. The text. The text. Am I being consistent with my criteria? Yes, Absolutely. Yes, yes, because I want to pose the same question about the exactly. New Testament. Exactly. We have New Testament manuscripts very early. Uh, the, some from the second century. The, the, the from, the okay, from okay, wait. Bible. First of all, first of all, we have this manuscript in yeah. Birmingham, in the library, which has been carbon dated to, uh, have come from the time of the prophet or his companions or definitely definitely his companions no doubt no scholar wait, because wait, wait, of wait, the, wait, the, wait, latest no. No, no, no. the latest the, the date no no the latest the latest date i'm talking about the latest date did you hear me the latest date i'm not talking about the earliest date yeah, i'm talking about it came from the, companions. the latest possible said, date the latest possible date with 90% precision what? you don't know how it works carbon dating i'm talking to an ignorant person who yeah. doesn't who's throwing names patricia crone yeah. who died before this carbon dating was done yeah. patricia crone died yeah. before this hey, carbon this dating okay okay yeah so now ladies and gentlemen it's not got to do with anything. okay i'll tell you so ladies and gentlemen this parchment in birmingham has been carbon dated to have come from the time of the companion of the prophet yep. and 
There are no, professors. There are professors. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. No. Okay. It you don't like it, do you? It you don't like it. I don't blame you. It could also be you, five, the situation you have put yourself in. Before Muhammad was even born. Okay. Why is he picking an arbitrary date? Okay. I'm accepting any range. Okay. He's saying, no, no, it has to be this range. Because I'm talking about the writing. You're right. so, you're so simple. You're so simple. You don't even know what I'm talking about. No, I do. Okay? I'm talking about the writing, not when the parchment was prepared. Okay? You are dying because writing. you're dying because you, you know where I'm going. You know where I'm going. And, you're, no and, and I, I don't think you are as simple as you look. You are very oh. clever oh. and you know the oh. game you're playing. And I'm trying to break your game or break it down yes, you know, for people to realize game. what game you guys play. So there is a reason why you do not answer my question. Oh. A very simple question. The answer is no. There is no difference. Yes. yes, wait. Yes, the, uh, there wait. are differences okay. because the wait. continental rasm does okay. not have diacritical marks in okay. the Birmingham wait. portfolio. Okay. Your Quran so today this, does. This End of. Okay. Done. Okay. Done. Do you understand? I've just given you the answer. You said there's very difference between what they have then as a written text and what the Quran is when today. When you finish. Yes. When you finish. Done. Our, our diacritical marks. Oh. Oh, now we're going to address them. Wait. As our diacritical marks. Right. Part of the continental ductus. They are not part of the continental. So shut up then. Wait, shut up wait, and wait, let wait, me talk. Wait, 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 okay. Wait, wait, shut up. Okay. Yeah. Shut the hell up. <laughs> shut the hell up. You don't know what you're do talking about. So let me. So change. why are you? Do why? Why? You don't. The you know, there's a reason. Do the there's a reason why you're doing this. The there's a reason. Do the okay. The okay. 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 Wait. Wait. Change the meaning. Wait. Tell me. I'm gonna address it. Tell me. Do the address it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna address that point. Tell me. I'm gonna address that point. Right now. We are not getting. Look. Once. We are established with this point I'm making. We can move on to diacritical mark. You're making it more painful than it has to be. There's a reason why you're doing this. There's a reason why you're doing this. So I'm diacritical marks. I will tell you. I will tell you. I will tell you. First, let us get step by step. Step by step. Because I know you don't like this exercise. I know. I know. It's painful. I'm going to repeat the question. I'm going to repeat the question. I'm going to repeat the question. The question I asked you. The Birmingham parchment. The Birmingham parchment that was written during the companions of the Prophet's lives, okay, okay, he acknowledged that potentially, potentially, it could be, it could be, okay, no, because we have said, we have said, I'm not talking about the production of the parchment, I'm talking about the writing. Would have been you, used you simple man. Using right. common sense, yes. according to him. You cleverly simple man. Sometimes, like sometimes people pretend how, how that people are stupid. That? Some, how, how sometimes how people like this think people are stupid. Who are watching is stupid. They're not stupid. They're not which stupid. It takes years to produce, okay. and then go right. What should we do with the parchment? Okay. Covered for decades. Chris. Right, not interesting. Chris, I'm going to repeat. I'm not going to let this one go. Chris, I'm not going to let this one go. This is Do very painful. This is very painful for you. Do I know. The marks okay, wait, wait, okay, wait. Answer. Okay. Answer. When did, the marks when, when, when did they come? Do the diacritical when did they come? When did they come? The diacritical marks. Yeah. Long after the time of Muhammad. Do the shut up. Well, I'm talking about the early period. I'm talking about. You just affirmed thank what I said. Okay. No. You've just, no. You've just admitted no. that no. there's a difference when, between okay. what was then okay. and what we have now. Okay. Thank we, you, Anna. Well, okay. Finally. Yeah. Finally. Let me. Let me. It's like, it's like pulling. Let, let him. Needles let him go on. Let him go on. Let him go on. No. The text then did not die critical marks. Only a continental. Why writing. would you not answer my question? Therefore, Why would you not answer my question? Uh, you know, he doesn't want me to come to the New today. Testament. That's why he's not Done. answering the question. Done. Because he will. Done. He doesn't want me to come to the New Testament. There's a reason. There's a reason. Oh, he doesn't want me to come to the. New, yeah, because oh, no, because I'm going to lead to a point. Okay. Well, you can see now, the point. I'm going to. I will talk about the New Testament if you can see the point. Yeah, okay. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Do you can see the point? Let me that's fair. let me say what I want to say. I will talk about it. Let me say. Point. Okay. That's fair. That's that. that parchment yeah. in Birmingham doesn't have diacritical marks. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, yeah. so diacritical marks yeah. are irre irrelevant oh. to this discussion. What? I'll they tell you why. I'll tell you why, Chris. Chris, I know why you're desperate and you keep going back to diacritical marks that does that don't exist in this what? parchment. Yeah, yeah. Now, so why are diacritical marks? Important for him because they change the meaning. meaning, but they don't exist in this parchment. Exactly. So, so what the, the hell are you talking then. about? The Quran what the hell are you talking about? So, so, um, okay. First of, all, first, of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all.